and captions. All right. Yay. Hello and Hello. welcome back to Coaching Corner. Coaching Corner. I love that you call it Coaching Corner and I call it Coaching Conversations. I mean, both work, so. Absolutely. <laughs> I think I think it's because we started out calling it coaching conversations and then I forgot. And so oh. I just like made up my own name. Got it. Okay. And so we started out calling it coaching conversations and I didn't forget. <laughs> no, no, no. You didn't forget. I okay. did. <laughs> I thought maybe I just made it up and I was curious. I don't know how we ended up on two different ones. That's okay. I mean, they're going on two different YouTube channels anyway. So they are. You they can are. you can call yours whatever you want. You can call it whatever yeah. you like. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? That's amazing. I love it. Okay, great. <laughs> like, I was thinking about that yesterday. So, like, one of the things that I... Oh, yeah, today's episode is ADHD, and let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. We no have topic. No, yeah, <laughs> we have no topic, so. But I was thinking about that yesterday. Is like you know, in all our, our business coaching circles, they talk about like being your authentic self and letting you shine through when you're writing content because you want to help people. You want to help them learn things and you have things to share, but also you want to be true to you. Yeah. Absolutely. But like, it's so hard to convey that because that's exactly what it's like in my brain. I'll be writing something. And it'll make me think of a song. And so mm -hmm. then I have song lyrics in the middle of it. <laughs> And it's like, if I did that, most of what I write would be like a third song lyrics. Yeah. Just at random. And I'm like, I don't. Um, I bust out with that song a lot with my children. Like if somebody says something about like, oh yeah, well, like whatever you like or it's something. I'll mm -hmm. start singing that. And I'm like, this is not really a child appropriate song late night sex so wet and so tight <laughs> we talk about sex but not really like that so <laughs> i mean but you're not singing that part of it so like <laughs> it's hard like, for me to like not keep going and so then i'm just like under my breath <laughs> yes um the other day my partner had gotten a uh like <clears throat> an epipen and inhaler holder for <laughs> their EpiPens and theirs is different than my youngest child also has EpiPens, but theirs are a different brand or whatever. Yeah. Um, so my partner's comes in a black and yellow tube. So they open the box and I was like, black and yellow, black and yellow, what, <laughs> what it is. And I can't sing. So it's, it's even funnier. Like <laughs> I see people do the same thing, but they can actually sing. Oh yeah, no, not me. No. <laughs> so mine is like all off key. And my teenagers, they love it because I I don't stop when I'm in public. <laughs> it still happens like that. Look at this giant mug. Oh my god. I have like the same one, but I don't have the handily part. Um Costco, I've seen them at Costco for a few weeks now. And they were on sale. They're it's originally like $26 for two, and they were on sale for six dollars off. And my partner and I were at Costco this weekend and I've been talking about them. And so we're standing there looking at them and I'm like, I have so many insulated to go cups. I do not. That was like, this is a want and not a need. I do not need it. I'm not getting it. And I turned to walk away and he was like, what color do you want? <laughs> I want the green one. And it came with a gray one also. And I thought like, oh, he would use that one and I would use this one, but he hasn't started using it. Well, 40 ounces. Right? Yes, and mine is purple. It still fits in the cup holders of my car. Do you know that I take my favorite cups with me when I go to buy cars? Because that is so fucking important to me. <laughs> like, but it's really funny. So our, our BJ's membership expired. No, not that kind of BJ. Although also true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and so we have Costco right across the street and I'm, because of you and your partner and your obsession with Costco, I'm pretty much going to just switch. I mean, the, the bed I was laying on earlier. So, Dayana, this is our third video call of the day. Um, 
y'all don't know that my partner and I got an adjustable bed and it was delivered yesterday. We got it from Costco because, so we went and laid on a bunch of different beds and then Logan looked at what was available in Costco and then he logged into consumer reports and read everything to determine which one we were getting. But Costco has like an endless return policy and they will come back and get the bed. Oh. And so we're also ordering a couch next week. Fabulous. Her. See, that's the thing too is because, okay, so when we moved in, it was just the four of us, right? And so like I had my own room mm -hmm. and I didn't, it wasn't very often that I had people sleeping over. So a queen size bed was fine. Mm -hmm. Now that this is a long-term arrangement of sharing my bed with somebody else again, I want a king size bed up here. And given the fact that I've been sleeping in a recliner for the last four months because mm -hmm. of my back, I want an adjustable bed so that I can actually, I don't know, be in bed again yeah. <laughs> for once. So that's what I've been looking at. So I'm really happy to hear that it was a Costco thing. Yes. Yes. They have a few different styles to choose from on Costco also. Mm -hmm. So we went with the ghost bed. That's good to know. I will be asking you all of the questions again later too, because <laughs> I really just, I really, really want to be able to lay in bed. Like we moved our furniture again. Like this is, this is how appreciative I am. Um, I mean, of both my partners, but we play to a strengths. And so one of my partner is particularly strong and particularly handy. And so his job in the house is all of the moving, building, fixing tasks. Mm -hmm. And so he moved all of the furniture last weekend so that the bedroom is ready when we get to the point of actually mm -hmm. buying a king size bed because I had a love seat up here because people are weird and both my partners were like i don't like sitting on the bed it's uncomfortable i want to actually like sit on furniture so i got a love seat so that when i have dates we can both sit on the couch yeah. and my recliner that i had i get the fucking love seat and neither one of them will fucking sit i swear it has been the other half of my love seat has either been squishmallows or a kid for like a year now <laughs> like so, so i went and got this but it's downstairs in the living room now so it's not like wasted and now the single recliner is back upstairs because i'm like if y'all are just gonna sit on the bed anyway i'm gonna get a king size bed mm -hmm. yeah would you get oh my gosh people don't care i'm sure would you get a split king so you can adjust the side separately or would you get one? So actually this is this is a conversation that we had because eventually the bed that's up here is going to be just mine. Like when we build the new house and we right. have our own rooms again, um, it's going to be just mine. But of course I'm sharing a room with a partner. So I wanted their opinion. And I asked them that very same thing. And I was like, my preference would be to have a full king because eventually this is going to be just mine. Right. And I don't want to continue to have a split when I get to have the whole bed to myself. <laughs> right. Um, but he was like, he was like, no, that's fine. If you adjust the bed, I'll just roll over. Like <laughs> he's, he's like the soundest sleeper, which is why mm -hmm. like a lot of people are like, you don't share a room with your husband, but you share a room with your boyfriend. And I'm like, look, 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 this has nothing to do with who I love more or like right. who, you know, means more to me. It is who I am more sleep compatible with because sleeping alone is not an option. Right. So like, not an option. <laughs> not an option. <laughs> yeah. And like, if I want a night alone, they're really good about like giving me that night alone. But since I sleep in the recliner right now, it doesn't even make sense. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah please go sleep on the couch so what i can sleep in the recliner by myself with nobody else in the room <laughs> but he and i are more sharing a bedroom compatible we have yeah. similar sleep schedules he doesn't wake up when i'm not sleeping and he's asleep um chris will be like chris is so funny he 
gets very upset at me in his sleep when I make noise. Hello. So like <laughs> I sneeze or something and it's like, I can't control that I'm sneezing, but he'll be like, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Interesting. But he's like, I'm, he doesn't remember it in the morning. He's like, it doesn't bother me. Your noise doesn't bother me. But like, all night long, I make noise and he'll be like, mm. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, this is, this is not working for me. Oh, well. I wanted to find something. I'm looking at my phone to find something to tell you about. Ooh, I like it. I find it interesting that you were like, nobody is going to care about the things but like the whole point of this episode is for us to just talk about the things that nobody's right. going to care about <laughs> okay let me find the thing it take me a second tell me you're a people pleaser without telling me you're a people pleaser Oh, shit. Okay. Part of me wants to be like a narrator and be like, and this is how you handle being in a relationship with somebody who has ADHD. But then also I know that's distracting, which is the whole point of like not talking. Oh my God. Okay. And so it's also funny because I'm looking up stuff about ADHD, but let me tell you how crazy different it is. My ex-husband and my current partner. My current partner also has ADHD. He it takes Adderall. Um, not all the time, though. No. But so my ex used to get so frustrated if I would be like be doing something and he would talk to me and I, it would take me a minute sometimes and I'd be like, I'm sorry, I have no idea what you just said. And he would get frustrated that like he would have to repeat it, right? Or the the really big one is I would be like, okay, so. And never finish because I would have this idea of a thought that I wanted to share with him. But then I would like keep thinking and like change my mind or like answer the question myself. Right. And I would never finish it. Drove him crazy. My current partner, like he'll be telling me something and I get a text message and I pick up my phone and he stops talking. And I look at him. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm still listening. He's like, I'm not mad. I just know you can't multitask. So like I'm going to wait. So you're paying attention again. So I don't have to say it twice. And he genuinely means it. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, I, I know you can't multitask. And so like, why would I keep talking? Yes. Oh yeah. my God. You're not mad at me. <laughs> Neurotypical people just don't get it. Ooh, they, just, uh, they don't. And it's funny because we are a household of ADHD, like seriously. And like, so like, we all know that nobody else can just switch gears when you start talking to them mm -hmm. but we all have adhd so we go up and we just start talking to people mm -hmm. it is an endless cycle of <laughs> like yeah. we just keep going because i know that i need to like make sure i have somebody's attention but i do it anyway because the impulse and i'm like oh i have this thought i need to get it out before i forget exactly yes so it's a constant refrain of like wait a minute you did not have my attention <laughs> Did I leave my hair tie over there? Possibly. Oh, it. That would be very on brand. I spent, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes looking for my hair tie <laughs> last night. I was like trying to put it because I'm, again, I'm in the recliner. So I put my hair on top of my head. Right. So it's not annoying me when I'm trying to sleep. And like, I was like, I know I had this hair tie. I got up and I looked in the bathroom. I was like, moving all of my shit off of my tables <laughs> no it was sitting in the little cart that i have next to my chair i love when i like have my phone in my hand and i'm looking for my phone yes oh my gosh did i, I read this thread this was years ago um but this guy was on the phone with his dad and he was like trying to leave the house and he's like, oh fuck, I can't find my phone. 
And his dad is like, oh, did you look here? Did you look here? Did you look here? And he's like going all around his house. And his like dad is trying to help him find his phone, but they're talking. He didn't realize it until his dad, his dad was like, well, hang up and let me call you so you can hear it ring. And it was once he said it out loud that they were both like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I swear I, I saw something similar, not similar, but I don't know, tangentially related um, about push to start cars and the key fobs and how easy it is to leave them oh, behind. Do you know what I thought you're, I'm picturing you pushing a car. <laughs> <laughs> like when you, like when you have to like jump the clutch to get it to go. <laughs> Do I look like the kind of person who pushes a car? <laughs> push to start cars. Yeah. Okay. Push to start ignitions on cars. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I don't even, I don't even remember the circumstances, but I remember the other day I had to be like, I, somebody was dropping somebody off or something. I was like, do you have the key? Like, are you about to go strand yourself somewhere without the key? Because another person is walking off with it and <laughs> you don't even know. Yeah. Um, Amanda, my friend Amanda dropped me and my kids off at the airport when we went to Costa Rica last August and she drove my van and I like get out of the van and I go inside and I'm like getting us all checked in and she texts me and she was like, you have the key. I started driving and then the van stopped going because you have the key. <laughs> I got too far oh. away and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> See, I didn't know it would stop now because I drove, gosh, this was at the old house. And I dropped Chris and the kids off. And then I went somewhere else. And Chris had the keys in his pocket. Uh -huh. And I drove somewhere. And I was about to turn the car off. And realized, oh, shit, I don't have the key. I can't turn the car off. Because if I turn it off, I, I can't start. It. I'm miles away from home. I'm maybe, still running. Maybe it didn't stop. Maybe it just, I know, like, I've had this happen where... I'm in the vehicle and somebody with the key like gets out and goes into a store and a message will pop up that says key no longer detected. Maybe that's all that happened. I yeah. picture her. I would think so. Cause I feel like it would be kind of dangerous for a car to just like yes. stop. <laughs> but yeah. And then another time it happened. Same thing. Oh, uh, Chris had come home from work. And so he went in the house and I just got in the car to leave. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I turned the car off, I was like, oh, shit. So I called him and I was like, hey, can you bring me the key? <laughs> Please. <laughs> but luckily, I was only like three miles away at that point. I was like, well, this is fun. Ooh. I want a self-starting car. No. So Push to start, whatever it is. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and now there's a button on the key fob. And so you can start it while you're inside. That's yeah, that's exactly what I want. I've always wanted that. But it's um think my van does that, but Logan's truck does that. I want it so bad. And it's I mean, global warming and all, it's slightly different now. But I live in an area where it's never really been too extreme hot or cold uh -huh. for any extended period of time so like it's really hard to justify it unlike like when i lived in vegas it would have been really easy to justify having that for the air conditioning <laughs> yeah. most of the year but here i mean now it's a little more extreme but before it was like, oh, it's two or three weeks of really hot and two or three weeks of really cold. And the rest is just, eh. It's not too bad here right now. It's 100. feels like 106. Two weeks ago, we had days of, it's 106. feels like 114. Ugh. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> this is not a story I can tell often, but I love it. So when I lived in Vegas, I had just gotten a new car. And... I used to go to work at two o'clock in the morning and I'd get off at noon. And so I went out to my car and I got in and the visor was down, which is really weird because I go to work at two o'clock in the morning. Why is the visor down? Mm -hmm. So I go to put it up and it falls back down. 
<laughs> so I was like, what? And I looked at the other side. So I drove to the dealership because I've only had it like, I don't know, a week, maybe two weeks. I drove to the dealership and I go to the service counter and it happens to be the guy that I brought it from is standing right there too. And he's like, what's up? And I was like, so I have a problem with my car. He's like, what? And I was like, my visor's melted. And he's like, what? And so typical misogyny, it's all these men don't believe a little old woman knows what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. And they go out and they're all standing there surrounding my car, looking at it going, holy shit, your visor's melted. <laughs> <laughs> it got so hot that my visors, the plastic would no longer stay up. There was no, no longer a mechanism to catch it from, from falling back down. So a week later, I got my visors replaced. <laughs> Oh, I swear, I promise this happened. <laughs> no, Andy, they're not melted. Uh oh. What? Is this recliner broken? <gasps> oh no. What the heck? Is it manual or power? Manual? Mm hmm. Tell him he's fired. <laughs> giving you a broken recliner. How dare he? I'm pretty sure it worked. I th like, I, th I think it broke right now. Oh. I mean, you could still say, shame right. on you. How dare you give me a broken recliner? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've reclined it before. Maybe I haven't. But anyway, it sounded like it broke just now. And I'm annoyed. I was going to complain about being pregnant and like lay back and talk to you laid back like this for a little bit for what it's worth i don't think i've seen you recline it yeah i don't think i've done it on a call mm -hmm. i'm just wondering if i you don't know fun stuff i don't i don't ever want to go back to manual recliners i don't know why i just don't <laughs> and so when I was a kid, my grandpa got one of those recliners where it like st helps you stand up for like when you. Oh, right, 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 right. And I was like, this is so weird. Like I got it as a kid. Like I kind of got it. But like now as an adult with back problems, I'm like, God damn it. I should have gotten one of those. Oh, uh, yeah. Like <laughs> too old for this shit. Fuck healthcare in America. Fuck healthcare in America. I haven't really done anything about it. Chris is like, why don't you go to the doctor? Why don't you go to the doctor? And I'm like, motherfucker, last time we went through this, I had to pay s almost $700 just for the MRI. They uh, won't do anything until I get the MRI. I'm like, we don't really have $700 to spend just for me to be able to get treated, much less. And Last time we went through this, they were like, if this happens again, you're probably going to need surgery. Fuck healthcare in America. Healthcare in America. Like, what's what's even the point of going when you already know you're going to be, like, bankrupt just for going? Right. Um, I picked up something from a house on my Buy Nothing group the other day. And um, their house and their two neighbors had signs in their front yard all advocating for reproductive rights. And I was like, I want y'all to be my neighbors. Yay. We need more of that shit. Yep. I saw something on Instagram. And I mean, it's Instagram, so I can't promise that it's 100% true. But at right. the same time, I believe it. Um, that one of the Republicans that voted against gay marriage recently three days later attended the wedding of his gay son i just saw that actually right in our in our little break our, oh yeah it's fucking ridiculous the the cognitive dissonance the mental gymnastics is right. just fucking absurd i don't i don't even I, it would break my brain to try and understand it yeah and like so this isn't something I talk about often, um, but it's been coming up more and more. Mm -hmm. I was raised Catholic. 
I did the pro-life rally. I did the pro-life march mm -hmm. in DC. I did all of those things. And like, one, it's embarrassing because holy shit, how could I ever have thought that way? Like, I know how I did. But two, it takes me back to my religious trauma and it's not really a place I like to spend a whole lot of time. Yeah. But I'm so glad that like, I'm, I'm not there anymore. And I know, like I started coming away from religion on my own, but there's a Facebook group that I'm part of. And maybe this is why I love my Facebook group book, some Facebook group so much and like want to build it because it was a Facebook group that really changed it for me. Um, but that was like really my first foray into the other side of life <laughs> and like the human's rights are for everybody and like religion is absurd and all of these things like i don't know on the one hand i want to be like yes absolutely have your religion and 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 cherish it for yourself but the traumatized side is like no thank you right <laughs> please don't i don't know it's a hard place to to work from sometimes like i have friends who are religious but they're also the kind of people who are like it's not the religion that's bad it's the church that's right right up. like they're like your god is actually a socialist not not what you think he is yeah like why can't we just have these things why can't people just have health care why can't people just have and there's so much proof that like it benefits everybody like universal basic income holy shit the benefits are fucking massive all of these selfishly wealthy people could still have plenty of fucking wealth yeah they could have plenty but no we were um i was in the car with my kids and my partner the other day and <laughs> my son is almost eight and he was like mom what's jeff bezos's ex-wife's name and i was like mackenzie bezos and he's like oh yeah what's her job again i was like actually i don't think she has a job i think she just like heads up a team of people who like research where she should donate the billions of dollars that she got in her divorce <laughs> i was like that's the job i want <laughs> I just, um, but there was also a good moment because we were like, you know, also her money, it's not all just like sitting there in a bucket. Like so much of it is invested that she doesn't actually have to work. Her money keeps growing. And so like, really that's what everybody that rich should do. Invest your money and live on the investments and just like donate money to the people that need it. Mm -hmm. I just don't, I don't get how people, and it's weird because I, I don't get people, how, how people can think that way now, but I was raised to think that way. Mm -hmm. But now even, even having been raised that way, I can't, I can't fathom thinking that somebody is less than for being queer or that somebody is a, a whore for having an abortion right. or like right that somehow a fetus is more valuable than than the pregnant person carrying that fetus like i was raised to it's born. Born. right but then it doesn't deserve any kind of support because then it's just a mooch like yeah. i'm gonna hurt my brain <laughs> if i keep trying to figure that <laughs> right i know i know oh so, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm at the point in pregnancy where, like, first trimester, I was, like, tired, like, needed a nap every single day, tired, right? <laughs> and now I'm at the point where, like, walking from my bedroom to the kitchen, my body's like, that was a lot of work. We should sit down for 30 minutes now. <laughs> yep. But also, I remember that too, like all the calls that we were on, and you're like, "Oh, I took a nap." <laughs> yeah. 
I've never napped so much in my life. And this is my third pregnancy. I was not this tired with either of my first two. Mm -hmm. And then I was gently reminded that my first two pregnancies, my first trimester occurred in my 20s. Mm -hmm. I'm no longer in my 20s. Okay, but also, how much of it has to do with your lifestyle is more relaxed now and more restful now? Yeah. First one, I had a full-time job, mm -hmm. so I could not just nap in the middle of the day. Second one, I had an almost two-year-old. Mm -hmm. So, and nap when the baby naps, it's not a real thing. <laughs> right. But, but also just like in general, you're even outside of those things. Like you didn't yeah. have a life that supported rest and relaxation. It no. was all about productivity and what can you get yeah. done and how valuable can you be? Yep. And now you see the value in just being. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that reminds me of the thing that I looked up on Instagram. And then after I looked it up, I forgot to tell you about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ADHD feels like you're never doing what you're quote supposed to be doing. So no matter how productive you are, it feels like not enough. Mm -hmm. Yep. That sounds about right. <laughs> okay. But also that was a really good quote that I just came up with. Like before your value is on how much you could, how much. Don't you wish you wrote it down? That's okay. I'll go back and watch it in the beginning. Or, okay, it's recorded. It's good. Yes. <laughs> Yay for recording. Oh, that yes. makes me happy. So. Yeah, we today. All right. Well, I'm glad we had just like a casual chat today, but yes. I just got my cue that it's time to go pick up my kid. So. Oh, okay, great. Go pick up your kids. I yes. just got my cue that my body wants a nap. Yay, go take your nap. Okay, great. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.